if you had to invent the motor car all over again, given today's technology, would you use internal combustion to propel it? It's an interesting question and as much as we love our roaring V8s and screaming V10s, the answer to that question is no, because converting chemical energy, i.e. fuel, into mechanical energy is a highly inefficient process. So obviously electric is the way to go and companies like Tesla have been proving that in the West. In India, of course, we've got our very own Mahindra Electric in the same game. And their latest car, the E2O Plus, well, they claim it's their smartest city car yet. Tall claim? Maybe not. This new car still looks unmistakably like a Reva, but Mahindra's signature grille up front has added some much needed butchiness. The design has been spruced up all around, but this E2O Plus gets two extra doors is 310mm longer and gets an extra 300mm wheelbase. What this means is that this is a proper four-door car now with lots more cabin space. The interiors, well, they might be slightly quirky, but the cabin is fairly well laid out. We especially like the blue backlit instrument pod that shows everything from your speed, range, battery info, and even how efficiently you're driving. The top spec model also gets an Android powered touchscreen infotainment system as well as a reverse camera. The interior fit and finish is pretty okay for the most part, but there are areas where you feel some corners have been cut. But most impressive is the massive improvement in rear space. There's plenty of knee room and headroom for two adult passengers to sit in comfort. Even the 135 litre boot should be more than adequate for the daily grind. This top spec P8 variant gets a 72 volt battery pack and a powerful 30 kilowatt motor, which also makes a healthy 91 newton meters of peak torque. Mahindra claims a range of 140 kilometers for this model, which should be adequate to handle even the longest of city commutes. However, the larger battery means that a full charge now takes nine hours. You can opt for a fast charger, which will charge the battery up to 95% in just 90 minutes, but you will have to pay a bit more for that. Driving the E2O Plus pretty much feels like driving a regular car. With no gearbox but a direct drive transmission instead, all you do is stick the car in F or forward mode and just start driving. It's responsive enough but acceleration is hardly impressive. For overtakes or some quick acceleration, you can stick the car in D or boost mode which sends more voltage to the electric motor giving you much more responsiveness. The flip side, about 15% less range. In whatever little amount we drove inside the resort, the handling felt pretty predictable. The ride too seems to absorb most smaller bumps fairly well. On the larger bumps however, while the suspension doesn't really crash, the noise of the thudding really creeps into the cabin. Not the best feeling. Now for an electric car, you are expecting the driving experience to be pretty noiseless. And while the motor itself is fairly quiet, when the AC compressor goes on, well that sound can get annoying pretty fast. And when the batteries get hot, their cooling system sets off a rumble through the entire car. You'd better be playing some loud music to drown out all that noise. Now while the E2O Plus is a little bit rough around the edges, at the end of the day, it's a pretty likeable car. What Mahindra Electric has done is taken into consideration all the practical concerns and anxieties that people have had about electric cars till now and really address them with this. If some of the quality issues could be addressed, it can really be a great daily commuter. So coming back to Mahindra's claim as to this being the perfect or the smarter city car, well that remains to be seen. For that, we'll have to do a thorough road test of this car in the urban environment. But at first glance, it certainly seems so.